Okay, good. Not even a name. I like I like the team of the, I like this team. Starting Dark Elves. He's got an assassin, which actually would probably be good. Only one reroll. He's a level twenty coat, so he's not a beginner. Well, I guess he could be a beginner and still played some games. But he's not an absolute beginner. Wizard. Yeah, the assassin could shine, to be fair. Yeah, well, the most enjoyable Blood Bowl for me in Arian was in uh, was the OFL, where yeah, every every team had had its own thing. It was really good. The, the fluff is obviously what makes things good, but the uh, the play wasn't so good in OFL. Not that I minded that much because obviously I got to win all the time. But what, to me, what would be the best would be to combine. To combine, I mean, Fumble's really amazing. There's a lot of good stuff on Fumble, to be fair. But uh, the best Dark Elf start is either four Blitzers, seven Linemen, or three Blitzers and one Witcher. But I don't like the runner. Um, Yeah, yet still, Fumble's pretty dead, but yet still has better matchups than Blood Bowl 2. So, crazy, in it? Work that one out. What I'd like is is Fashtastic. Um, or seeing as Fash has probably given up Blood Bowl, might, maybe he'd get back into it for Fashtastic. But, you know, I would like to combine the fluff and everything from OFL with um, with just good coaches. <laughs> and a fair system. That'd be pretty good. Yes, yeah, Stab was in instrumental in me losing to Armor 7 Lodge. Because I fucking tried for a stab instead of a dodge. Fucking skit a stab stab, what a cunt. Um, right, he hasn't he didn't even buy a wizard, he got a reroll of bribing two babes. So the strength three could carry I guess, couldn't he? And uh, get his level. He's like a pretend gutter runner here. <sighs> Eyes are killing. I think it's going to be the last game. Maybe I could have caught with the edge 5. But still a 3 2 is fine. Isn't it? Over his shit head. Fuck.
I played Krista on Fumble one time. My Nurgle versus his Camry. I was pretty happy to actually play, play him. What's happened in the game versus the base where I conceded bleeding hit because my apple was used, I was about to get surfed, one gutter was about to get surfed, the other one was about to get fouled. So I just conceded. He's just gonna keep fouling me and casting me with all of his frenzy mighty blow guys. Use my fifth concede, so if my internet goes down, I'm fucked. Which isn't a great position to be, but I mean, I'm nearly fucked anyway, aren't I? There's only a fucking week left of this, well, not even a week, five days left of the season. Wow, he actually exercised control of his instinct to reroll. Good for him. Giving up a lot of blocks, isn't he? But then that might not even be that bad for him. He's got the witch as well, so he to be a bit careful. Safe blocks first. You could go there, blitz assist. You could 1D. You could dodge to make that a 2D. You can 1D him. Pretty shitty actually. I just want to put him here, don't I? Fuck. Alright, this is pretty bad. Just quietly. Ooh. Dodge away, can he? And have to re-roll it, I guess. Fucking turn two re-roll and dodge is pretty shit, isn't it? Two plus here. And essentially a two plus here because I don't mind if it's both down. No, of course not. Got the you got the stun without having to make the block. Without make the block action. Have we stet oh no, it was um somebody else that I've heard of. Five days, ten games a day. Kalimar does the new did the only did the new one, but there was some somebody else that they mentioned. They didn't mention um they didn't mention the other guy. I've never heard of that Abby Stebber or somebody else I've heard of. See there you go, forty four, seven forty six, three nine, and that's the thing, you know. That's the thing. 
it's like it's a rude awakening fumble like well definitely back in the day because you thought you were good and then you found out you weren't This guy isn't bad, despite his horrific build. <laughs> Block him, but then if it's a push, he's still in contact, but then he could just dodge away with dodge, I guess. Kalimar did the new one, but there was somebody else that... that that I have heard mentioned from for the old one, not this guy you've talked about. I can't remember who the old one was that I've heard mentioned. Oh baby. Yeah, Kaimo is the new one, yeah. But honestly, I haven't heard of that other guy. It, it, he didn't not he has not got the credit for the new um, the new thing. There's always somebody luckier, that's that's a fact. Yeah, that's the thing on on um on Blood Bowl two. I feel like I could always um I could yeah, but he doesn't get the credit anymore for the original one. All right, not fumble. All right, fair enough. Then. Fair enough. All right, fair enough. Um, yeah, like on Blood Bowl two, I always think that I could win no matter how bad the dice were. Well, not always, obviously. But um, usually I feel like I could win, or at least draw, no matter how bad the dice are. But, like against most people, and that's the same on Fumble, to be fair. Against most people, I feel like I could win, no matter how, well, draw, no matter how bad the dice are. But obviously if somebody's good, like if you're playing, you know, Pete W or Ducky or whoever, Inarian, if the dice are shit, you're going to lose, aren't you? It's just, a fact. It's just literally a fact, you're just going to lose. Um, if you're playing somebody who's at a certain level, you will just lose if the dice are shit. However, when you look, when you lose that game, there's probably plays you could have made better. So I think it's too easy to blame the dice. Yeah, he's determined to get sent off, isn't he? Unfortunately, he hasn't succeeded yet. Three, three stuns is pretty huge. Going to make next turn tricky. But obviously don't have to score anytime soon. So. Go for the gutter now. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to give away blocks, especially with the stun guys. I can stand them all up next time. Yeah, Pigstar. He's uh, 
He's, I mean, he's good. Big star, 69. He's really good. He's a dirty cherry picker, though. Very dirty cherry picker. God, stop arm breaking every single turn. At least they're only stunned. Come on, send off finally. No. Yeah, Vindaloo. Yeah. Could surf him, couldn't I? into there and then just surf him out. Should have put him here. Miss click. He should have been there as well. Pretty, pretty shitty, uh, pretty shitty walk turn so far. Go to death. That's what you get. I mean, this would have been so much better if I put him in the right square. And hadn't had to move him there, so he could have gone, he could have based him too here. <laughs> get wrecked, Falcon Cup. I can't believe he's fouled this guy like three or four times and been sent off yet. What the fuck? Just get sent off, you dickhead. Yeah, only because I misplayed. I guess even if I hadn't misplayed, you'd have still served with me. But it was a lot easier to spot with a miss a misplay. What are you doing there? What are you doing? Just try to make some kind of effort to score, shouldn't I? No a re rolls. Good. No armor break. No, oh, fuck's sake. With a foul, he's, <laughs> he's always getting... He's always getting an armor break on his knockdown. And an armor break on the foul. So I've never had the like, momentum to push forward. Finally sent off. Jesus, God. Oh, he's got the bribe. Fair enough. Alright, he wasn't so crazy. Yeah, he had the bribe. Oh, well. <laughs> Banged on. I guess now it's enough to push forward. Push forward with the wraiths.
Yes! Level for the storm vermin! Oh, baby. Do I not like that? Shit, he's got shadowing. Oh no, now the cage, now the cage is burst. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, it's not so bad being based there, but <laughs> because Bob Skulls looked below, Tara Barala mostly went for dodge, and uh, Azure went for mostly guard. I think the guard would be better if on a guy with block or block or wrestle. But I think when they've been his first skill, just go for survivability. That is the, uh, that's the thing. Now he's just going to swarm. Bust out, turn 7, score turn 8. It's good, isn't it? Facing, facing that ball. He's read about it on the internet. He knows it's a good idea. Shit shadowing. All right. Mm -hmm. Surf down or which is dead. All right, so I want to double GFI with him. I'm gonna risk the GFI with him just because just to make sure he gets there. Oh, Stabby McStabberson's for you. Okay, dodge out first. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> he's got dodge, didn't he? I think about the team really well. Yeah, I mean, it's easy It's easy to say maybe you could feed some TDs. It's not like I haven't been trying, but it's just... The games have been hard enough to win, you know? Um, if I'm ever 1-0 up and turn them over, then I'll try and get the skills to them if I can, you know? As long as I can't lose. But when it's 1-1, one, one, I've just got to, I've got to take the scores, haven't I? And, you know, without even handing off to a different gutter runner. And be obviously, if you can... If you can, you want to farm TDs to start them.
all right. Hmm. This is going to have to be a dodge, isn't it? Don't think there's anything better than 1 in 36 here. He could come in there. I could blitz. I could make a blitz. He could block and he could go 1, 2, 3, 4. No, he couldn't blitz. Like, obviously I want to block him and chain him away, but even then that would just push him to there anyway, so it wouldn't work, so I'd have to get someone there. He could go in there and he could blitz. But that's a 1 in 27, isn't it, without block? So, the dodge out is going to be the best thing, I think. Well, it's an 8 out of 9 to not score, isn't it? Block skills not block. That's the thing. Yeah, they, they don't get into situations like Lizardmen get where they've got complete field control, do they? That, that's the problem with, with Skaven. I can't see a way to make a 2 db to clear and with block or wrestle. I guess he could blitz there and then come over here. One, two, four, five, six, seven. No, it wouldn't be two guys. But even then it wouldn't work, would it? It would just... Um, I think just a dodge here. Pretty sure I can't make a 2 dB with, with block or wrestle. The best would be hitting from here, wouldn't it? To block. But it would take a GFI to do. Or a hit without block. And a hit without block is literally... Oh no, it's 1 in 81 to turn over. Why was I thinking it's a 1 in 27? It's a 1 in 81, isn't it? Put him right there instead of that. It's a 1 in 81 that failed. Put him in the wrong square. That's unbelievable that putting them on the square. There you go. I knew I'd fail that. I knew I'd fail the dodge. But I put uh, if I hadn't put him in the wrong square, I could have blocked him again. I don't know why I did that. Idiot. Absolute idiot. If I put him in the right square, I get the 2D. Double skull it, re-roll. And then score. I absolutely knew I would fail the 1 in 36 dodge. Knew it. It's absolutely guaranteed, isn't it? And I don't know why I was thinking it was a 1 in 27 instead of a fucking 1 in 81 for so long. Pretty fucking stupid. No, it's not unlucky. It's not even unlucky. It was just bad play, wasn't it? Just a fucking bad play. I, I don't know. I don't think it matters. I don't think... I, I don't know, but yeah, usually three or four. One, one's a skull in it, two's a both down, three, four pushes. Five's push power and six's a power. It's just bad play. Sheer bad play punished. So, I mean, I can't really complain when all I'm asking throughout the match is for my opponent's bad play to be out, be punished. I can't really complain when my bad play's punished, can I? <laughs> yeah, it's easy to say that, isn't it, Tony plays poorly, but, um, you know, it is what it is. I guess I've got to stop and scoring, haven't I? Yeah, exactly, it's, it's not actually how it works. Alright, I'm going to have strength 3 on the sides. I 
got to turn him over. At least he's down to eight players. He was actually unlucky getting sent off, wasn't he? Because he had the bribe. I didn't even think about the bribe. He hasn't got multi blocks, so these can stay together. Hmm, there's probably no way they've got to stay together. Yeah, I mean, well, this is a definite plus for Inarion, because if he had double wand on turn four, he on turn three, he still gets to try and score again on turn four, doesn't he? Like, well, it's Inarion, there's Inarion. I really don't like that he, he just forces scores early and, you know, does a, does risky skilling. I'm, I'm not I'm not all for Inarion, Inarion style. But I like a, a more considered Inarion style, where... You just score whenever you can. I think there's a lot to be said for that. Try to go forward as, as much as you can safely and then score without rolling dice as soon as you can. Then I would have probably scored on like turn four and I would have at least scored, wouldn't I? But, you know. Because have been one dice. So I mispositioned the first turn one, that was the thing. That that was the thing. Oh, it's definitely more sensible than it appears, yeah. It just makes your offense so much easier, doesn't it? That's the thing. I mean, it takes all the pressure off your offense. Well, essentially all the pressure off your offense. Because you're trying, like, you know, it's why, it's why everybody who wins the coin toss in overtime wins. Because being able to score whenever you want is fucking easy, isn't it? But having to stall it till turn eight is what's hard. But then how many games do you win 2-1 because your opponent didn't stall? You know, that's the thing. So I don't think it's as good against quality opposition. But I think against uh, against poor people, against, against like, you know, for Cole Ladder, um, I think it's, it's probably the optimal but way to play, to be honest. This isn't exactly <laughs> a protected uh, ball here, is it? Maybe he hasn't played Skaven before. The scatter's going to be a bit shit. <laughs> yeah, the scatter was really shit. <laughs> I think it's just, I think scoring fast is good against shitters, against coal shitters. I think that's the biggest thing. And it's definitely... It just depends, doesn't it? It just depends. I think there's a lot to be said. It just takes the heat off. It takes all the heat off you not scoring. Which is huge, isn't it? You just will score every time if you can score. Against somebody who isn't very good. <laughs> if you can score any time you want, you will score, guaranteed. Um... Yeah, exactly what Ducky says, so... So you will guaranteed score. If, you, if you're playing somebody who isn't very good, you will 100% score against them if you can score any time. But if you've got a score at turn 8, you might not. You might have to make that one in, one in 81 or 1 in 36 roll that you might fail. I mean, obviously I could have played better to prevent the 1 in 36, potentially, but still. Is 
It still isn't very safe for him, is it? Just fucking loudly. Don't follow me. Alright, I want to hit him from this direction. To hit him into the wrestle guy. No, I can't. So the wrestle guy just glitches. Oh, but then it's fucking out in a shit place. I don't want to get stabbed. I don't want my gut running to get stabbed by him. Maybe we should have made that block first. This is a much better knockdown place now, isn't it? <laughs> if I power him, I can't even get to the ball. Let's go there. He's the one on fucking six, isn't he? He would be. The other storm vermin's got to get it somehow. Oh, I've let him an easy dodge out. Oh, fuck. Powers me, Bludger. I know you can two plus away. Oh my god, that was such a bad spot for that storm vermin. Unbelievable. Oh, thank god. Thank god he caught it, otherwise he just dodges away and passes it out and he's won. Fucking hell. It was 2-0. 2 nil to him, Pedro Jack, because I conceded to keep my, keep my team. That was so bad, leaving him the two plus dodge out. Holy shit. Holy shit, that was so bad. Nah, he's not being a dick. He doesn't care he's on playing, is he? Fair enough. Right, get a pal here. Yes, got a pal. push him this way it's worse for the recovery but there's a chance of a follow up block isn't there so I think that's that's worth it for the follow up block like it would have been another block with block then a block without block basically guaranteed getting it down In a TZ. Had to be, didn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, fuck, Shadow Inferno. Alright. Storm Vermin's got it. Pass, no, I can't pass. <laughs> I don't know, Stomp and I really don't know what the world's going to be. Fucking pass. Dirty dingo. He's the dirtiest dingo you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh, wow. Ballsy. Oh, what the fuck? Did you fucking see that? I fucking clicked on the skull. This fucking game. This fucking, fucking, stupid cunt of a fucking game. What the fuck? I clicked on the scroll. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Right, so he pushes him, which pushes him to there. Or just pushes him if it's a power. No, it's a power. What if it's a push? Push him to there, and then come from diagonally up, I think. It's probably... It had to be a push, didn't it? GFI. What the fuck is that about? Skaven having to make a GFI, what the fuck is the world coming to? We're a fucking movement 7 bastard on a team of movement 9 bastards has to make a fucking GFI. Outrageous. Could come back here. He's just gonna power him instantly. And just go there. This has got a 3 plus 2 plus hot or something. 
He's got no players left, has he? I've been pretty lucky this game. TBH. Yeah, Crusaders was to blame. I just leveled everybody up. It's not my fault, though, is it? I mean, where you click should be where you fucking click. <laughs> now he makes the roll. Dingo. Of course, he gets the one dice, pal. Match five catches it. No problem. This is why my storm vermin don't get the score. I'm not gonna do the fucking pass. I'm not even gonna score on the fucking storm vermin now, probably. It's true, it's true. I probably would win too now if I scored early, but... That's the thing. It's only against... It's only against not great players that I think that Inarian's strategy is the correct one. If I was winning 1-0, like I should have been, I would have gone for the pass. I really don't think I should go for the pass now. Maybe I could have one try at the pass. Nearly there. Oh god. Alright then. It was definitely right to go for the pass. <laughs> that storm vermin getting his revenge from being fouled all the time. Please tell me it was turn 15 and not 16. Yeah. Thank God. No, 
Oh yeah, massive TD for all. <laughs> Can he even reach us? Let's let's check. Just gotta hope he doesn't run away. <laughs> Best touchdown foul of all time. GG. <laughs> oh, the BM is real. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> I do the best touchdown fouls. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still not patched, no. No. Believe me, I do the best touchdown pass. <laughs> it's a feature, not a bug. Uh. <laughs> yeah, screw by one bug and abuse another. Yeah, it's fair enough, isn't it? Oh, God, he got the MVP. <laughs> oh, that was the guy. You got touchdown fouled. <laughs> oh, brilliant. All right, two levels. Claw, please. Ah. Ah. I guess Mighty Blow on both in case they double. Um. Because I gotta take mighty blow just in case I get a claw. So they'll go both go mighty blow. Thirteen men's is all right, isn't it? In case of the death spiral, I'll take the mighty blow now. I'm not. I'm not gonna go guard on one. Some people like going guard on one and mighty blow on the other, but um, I'm a hundred percent going mighty blow on them both, just in case of the. Uh, I'm not gonna wait. I'm going mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose I am supposed to dither and back with, back and forth it before I take mighty blow, but no, that's definitely hundred percent mighty blow there. Just to just to maximise the chance of claw mighty blow, isn't it? Um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I had I had to do that. I had to. I had to. Um Season six ends on the twenty second, so there's not a lot of time left. Um, to qualify but yeah hopefully I mean now I've got Mighty Blow Blitz every turn don't I so exactly exactly 100% what Sturdy says if I'd taken guard on one he'd roll a double on his second skill it's what happens whenever I go guard first on a on a Chaos Dwarf blocker so um, 13 guys is enough I don't want to go to 14 14 is a bit much um don't know whether to buy. Don't know what to do with this extra money though. Could maybe just burn it, and so I've got 150. I don't. I don't like with Skaven. I don't like the idea of getting the upgrade and then only 100k in the bank. I want to keep as much in the bank as possible. Yep, starting to get. I mean, that's the thing. Though. I mean, that's why I sacked the rogue, wasn't it, to get below. So yeah, never mind. And now I don't have a concession ready anymore. I mean, I already faced a kill team with that that, that Norse that uh, that were brutal. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.